We don't see ourselves as a Tesla killer. I hate being described as a Tesla killer. We're anything but. There's a huge luxury market which is dominated by the German cars, uh, Mercedes, Audi and BMW. That marketplace is worth $100 billion a year. To be credible there, we have to have a car which can run at autobahn speeds and compete with that set and show its credibility. This is about showing. It's a bit like the diver's watch. It has to go to 1,000 metres. Maybe the human body can't take a 1,000 metres, but to be credible, that watch needs to deliver what it says it can. For us, the top speed of the car is really irrelevant because you, if we can't find a, a road long enough to do it, where are our customers going to find a road? Um, so for us, the more, most important thing is acceleration. Um, so we are, the, I think, the fastest accelerating uh, uh, hypercar on the market today. I mean, this car will do uh, 0 to 248 miles an hour. Uh, in about um, uh, 22 seconds. It'll do a standing quarter uh, in uh, under 10 seconds. No, we're never competing with Koenigsegg or with Bugatti in any way, shape or form, right? Our customers can afford every single one of them and a lot of them have every single one of them. So we're in very good company in that sense. So we're not competing, we're competing with buying a private island, we're competing with another G5, we're competing with a handmade Patek Philippe, but we're not competing with each other. Independence that are still there that made it 